Hi, Hiram here. Last week I got a letter from Flat Cat Gear, and at first I thought, uh-oh, what did I do now? I mean, it was just a letter, one stamp addressed to me, and I thought, oh, okay, what did I do? I've done something wrong now, but I opened it up, and surprise, surprise, what it was was John over at Flat Cat Gear is sending me a pre-alpha test stage stove that he's making. In fact, he sent me two stoves and a base. I mean, wow. In an envelope with one stamp, he sends me two ESPIT stoves. They look, they look like this. Basically, the it's a do-it-yourself do type of a stove where he's going to punch them out this is the stove part. It also comes with a base plate. I got two stoves and one base plate. Comes with these instructions. Very well done instructions, I might say, compared to a lot of stuff out there. But it comes with these. And it tells you, this is really cool, it's something he calls a focus fire stove. He uses SBIT. It's not for dry baking or any kind of fancy cooking. It's made just to heat water. And uh, with the instructions, it shows you the piece, this piece. Now, like I said, it's a do-it-yourself type of a thing. I don't know what's wrong with my lights here. Do-it-yourself type of a thing where he punches them out like this, but then you end up having to sand them down a little bit. There's relatively sharp edges here. You could get yourself a nasty paper cut. But in the instructions, it shows the diagram where you make, you draw lines on the part, and then you bend it into place. Once you've done that, when you bend it into place, you get this. Hopefully you can see it. I don't know what's going on with my lights here. It's a two-part stove. This is the stove part. This was originally like this until I drew the connecting lines and then bent it, which it also gives you good instructions for that. And then I got one base plate. This goes. This is what you put your ESPIT on. This goes on there like that around the ESPIT, controls the burn. And you also, you have, since it's a do-it-yourself type thing, you end up having to supply some sort of a uh, pot stand. From the instructions, the pot stand should be anywhere from 1.8 inches to 2.25 inches tall for optimal results. This is 2.25. So I've made the first stove. What I'm going to do now is get some water prepped, get an ESPIT cube, and I'll be right back for a quick test to just see what I can do with two cups of water. So be right back. Okay, so I've got my two cups of water. I've got one ESPIT cube on here. I hope I said that before, that this is an ESPIT burner. Uh, one cube on here. He says put it the uh, embossed side up. Now when I go to try to get ESPIT cubes to start, I scrape the top a little bit to get a pile of crumbs on there. Makes it a little easier to, to get it lit. Now, just for reference, on the box it says that one cube will burn approximately 13 minutes. On the other stoves that uh, I have from Flat Cat Gear like this, the Epicurean, you get some fantastic burn times. So we'll see what this does with this. Again, I got my two cups of water. So let's go to the other camera. Like this. Okay, that's lit. Let's let it get all the way across the thing. Okay, so now you put the stove part on, center the cube in there. That's the kind of burn we're getting. On goes the pot stand. Two cups of water setting at 60 degrees. And let's see where this goes. Okay, we're right at the two minute mark since I lit this, or started the timer anyway. Look at that nice flame coming up. I mean, this is just focusing it really well. 
making a nice column of flame up to the pot. Um, I'm pretty impressed so far. This is right up there with alcohol burning time. I'm personally not a big fan of Espit. I mean, I pack it, I use it in case of emergencies, but I don't use it a lot for cooking or heating water because it's a little too messy and smelly. But this is impressive. So let's see how long it takes, see if we can get this to a boil. Uh, most other SBIT stands that I've used in the past, other than flat cat gears, I'm saying, but just regular ones out there, most of the time uh, are very hard pressed to get water to boil with an SBIT cube. But we'll see what happens here. One thing I wanted to show you here on the side, the instructions say that this does get hot, so you have to be careful with it. I'll say, look at that. I hope you can see it on the camera. It's red hot, the stove. And now it's just starting to change there. But there was a big red spot on the side. So, remember, you put flame to something, it's going to get hot, so you got to be careful with handling it. Okay, there we have 210, 211, 212 at 816. Wow, that went fast. So again, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 8 minutes, 16 seconds. Now let's see how long this lasts. Okay, the flame is going down. Down. Still hanging on in there. Okay, watch for the temperature drop. Flame is just barely hanging on. Still hanging on. Okay, drop there. So let's say 1205. Okay wasn't as long as what I thought it might turn out to be, but that was quite a flame going on there. Hey, let me pour this off. I'll show you the other reason why I don't like using aspit normally. Ouch, hot. Let me shut this off. Okay, I think you can see the crud left behind by Espit. Really pretty crusty in one spot. Hope you can see that. But uh, that was surprising. Didn't last as long as what I thought it might, but it put out one heck of a flame. Hey, again, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 8 minutes 16 seconds and then ran out at 12 minute 5. Now let's see the uh, stove still seems pretty strong. Now I don't know if this is how many uses you're supposed to be able to get out of this or if it's a one-shot deal. I'm hoping it's not just a one-shot deal. And a little bit of crud on the plate. Now what I should have done, and I usually do when I forgot it, is I put a little piece of aluminum foil there. That way it's easier to keep this base plate clean. You just crumple it up and put that in your trash bag. But, uh, boy, this thing got red hot. I mean, the, the sides, I think you can see, can you see the tempering there? Hopefully it'll show up on the camera. It really got all red in this area. Okay, it's already down to a temperature that you can handle it. Interesting. Again, because there's no real wear and tear on this. I mean, you don't put your pot on this. All it's doing is bringing air in through this side slot. Can you see that? Brings air in through here and brings the flames up and out. So pretty cool, st not cool, pretty hot stove. I like that. I have no idea what uh, flat cat gear is going to charge for this or if it's even going to come out. Like I said, this is their pre-alpha test stage. So he's looking for a feedback. I hope this will serve as feedback. But 
if there's interest, I'll do more tests on this. I was thinking maybe trying this with Coglin fuel. Oops. See how it looks works with Coglin tablets. They're a little bit smaller. I like using these because I can store them in uh, medicine bottles. But uh, neat. So I thank John over Flat Cat Gear for sending me this. I really appreciate that. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.